Hello, hello, everybody. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I want to say hello to everybody. I um, hope everybody's had a wonderful day today. I just want to get on here and tell everybody how wonderful God is. And um, I just love Him and I praise Him and I magnify His name. Um, I just want to say He is so worthy to be praised. Um, you know, I want to tell you people out there, when you have a ministry to uh, fulfill, you have um, the Word of God to share, when you have an anointing up in your life and God has anointed you, you're all about to fight the devil. I'm telling you now, when you've got an anointing on your life, and when you have a calling and gifts in your life and upon your life and you are fulfilling them, you are about to go to war. You are about to fight the enemy. You are about to fight the battle that the devil is throwing at you. Why? Because he does not want you obeying the gift and the callings of God. He does not want you obeying what God is telling you to do. So let me tell you, friends out there, family out there, People out there, true Christians of God, that's on fire for God. Keep on the fight. Keep the good fight of faith out there. Keep on pressing on for God. Keep on doing what God has called you to do, what God has called you to be. Obey the gift and the calling. Don't let the devil put a stumbling block in front of you. Don't let the devil come against you. Rebuke him in Jesus' name and carry on living for God. Carry on praising God. Because you have made the enemy mad. You've made the devil mad. When everybody's false accusing you, when everybody's out there against you and telling lies on you, you know, it's funny when you was out there in the world, the, everybody would support you and laugh with you and uh, goof up with you. But when you come to God and you come to obey what God's word has said and you come to become a minister of God, the support is gone. People don't want to support the true ministry of God. People don't want to support good people that's out here sharing the love of God and the word of God, preaching with all their heart, mind, soul. It's a sad thing, the generation that we live in now They'd rather support a ball game than they would the Word of God. They'd rather support this, that, and another than uh, somebody out here trying to uh, spread the Word of God. It's a sad situation. It's a sad thing. It's a sad world that we live in. But let me tell you, we serve a God of the living. We serve a God of the living and His name is Jesus. He is our Father. He is our everything to us. There ain't a time that God ain't never let me down. He's always held me with loving arms and mercy and forgiveness. He's always carried me when I couldn't walk. He's always dried my tears when I cried. He's always put happiness in my life when I was sad. He's always lifted me up when I was down. He's always encouraged me when I was discouraged. He's always been there for me. Don't tell me my heavenly father's not true. Don't tell me my heavenly father is not real. If you feel what I feel in my soul, then you would run to the altars. If you feel what I feel in my Holy Ghost and in my soul, you wouldn't even have to preach a sermon. You wouldn't even have to preach a message. People would be hungry for the gift and the callings of God. But yet, they're too busy dip dabbling in the world. They're too busy out here dip dabbling in the world of sin and iniquity. God is not pleased with sin, and sin will not enter the kingdom of God. You better listen to me, friends and family. I said sin will not inherit the kingdom of God, which means no sin will enter into heaven. So you better put your sins and your weights aside, or you will not enter the kingdom of God. You better put your sins aside, people. Sin will not enter in heaven. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you say, are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm telling you with the love of God in my heart, my mind, and my soul. God don't like ugly. God don't like sin. And he will not 
tolerate it. These halfway Christians ain't going to get it. These hypocrites ain't going to get it. You say you're too hard. But no, it ain't me. It's the word of God that's within me. You got to speak what God says, speak. You got to say what God says, say. You got to go where God says, go. You got to do what God says, do. Obedience to the God. You got to be obedient to God. There's nothing in the world that you're going to be able to do uh, to please your God unless you're obedient to him. We got to be obedient to God. Without being obedient, you're not going to be pleasing unto him. I want to be pleasing to my heavenly father. Forget what man says. Men are judgmental. Men are sinful. Be pleasing to God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Live for God with all your heart, mind, and soul for God. Set every sin and weight aside that so easily besets you. you we don't have time to sin because your little sin, oh, just a little bit of sin. Give the devil a little bit of sin and he's going to take a mile. Oh, he don't play fair. The devil don't play fair. Sin don't come from God. Sin comes from the devil. So you want something from the devil? Oh, no. No. Y'all say y'all don't want no sin from the devil, but you sure out here partying it up and drinking it up and smoking it up and shooting it up. Pouring it up. You're doing everything, shacking it up. Doing everything unpleasing in God's sight. It's an abomination to God. It's an abomination which stinks in God's nostrils. We've got to be holiness or hell. We've got to set them sins aside and don't touch them, don't look at them, don't even think about them. We've got to be a true holiness people to be dedicated to our wonderful God, to be holy. I want to be pleasing to God. I said, God, if there's anything like, anything that is unlike you, God, in my life, open my eyes, dear God, and show me. Show me, God. Lord, if there's anything in my life that is not of you, God, get it out of my life. Because I want to make it to heaven. I want to be a true Christian of God. I want to be a true blue. I want to be somebody that is set aside from the world. That way they can see you through me. Oh, I suck out of my We ain't got time to let this world let sin in our lives. Sin will not enter their end. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you people. Sin will not enter their end. You know, people, they always try to make it. Oh, is this a common thing? 2022. No, it's not a common thing. Sin is sin. Call it by name. The devil's a liar and the father of all lies. You calling yourself a Christian? Then you need to bear the fruits of the Spirit. But if you're calling yourself a Christian and you're bearing the fruits of the flesh and sending it up like a devil, then you're going to be on your way to a hell if you don't change your ways. You come in cussing it up, slurring everybody around with your ugly attitude. It ain't gonna make it to heaven. You come in talking to everybody like they're a dog and cussing them out. It's not of God and God is not pleased with you. People are watching your lives and you profess to be a Christian of God and it's not so. It's not so. Oh, to glory to God, it ain't so. God don't have no sin in the camp. You saying, oh, you perfect, you don't sin. No, you a liar, devil. I didn't say I was perfect, but I'm striving to be. I'm striving every day. I know if something's a sin, I don't do it. I'm not saying you can't make a mistake, but I'm saying that you, when you know something's a sin and you do it, it's a sin to you, and you better put it away and get it out of your life. Be a separated holy people before God. God wants a holy people. I'm telling you now, 
out of love out of my heart. God wants a holy, dedicated, true people. He wants somebody sincere. Somebody that will say, here I am, Lord. Use me. Here I am, Lord. I know I'm unworthy. But God, you have chosen me. And Lord, use me. Use me, God. That's the humble person I want to be. That's the humble person I'm going to be before God. Saying, God, use me. I'm here, Lord. I'm your vessel. You know, how can you let God use you if you don't have a clean temple of God? You've got to have a clean temple for God to go well in you. Without a clean temple, getting that sin out of your life. God cannot dwell in your temple. It says you got to be hot or cold. Lukewarm won't do. He will spill you out of his mouth. Sin will not enter into heaven. Praise God. I just want to get on here and share what God had put in my mouth. He said, open your mouth and I will fill it. And I have to be led by the Spirit. I didn't know what I was going to say whenever I turned this thing on video. I said, Lord, I'll open my mouth. Lord, and you will fill it. That's what your word says. And glory to God, there's not a time that he's failed me. But yet, every time that I open my mouth to speak God's word, every time I open my mouth to sing God's songs, every time I open my mouth to testify, my God has never let me down. My God is on my side. And he can be on your side too. That's the God that I serve. It's the God of the living and not the dead. He's alive. He's alive forevermore. He's alive. He's alive, people. I love God and I praise him. I love him with all my heart and my soul. And I wouldn't lead you in any way but to Jesus. I wouldn't lead you in any way but to the kingdom of heaven. And I don't want to lead you any way except for to get you away from the lake of fire. I don't want you to burn in hell. I don't want your soul to burn in hell. No, I don't. I don't care how much you love me. I don't care how much you hate me. I don't care how much you don't like me. Because I love you. And I love your soul. I love you, everything about you. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Because I care about you. I have a godly love that God has placed in my heart. It says, do not let my people die and go to hell. Stand up and sound the trumpet like there's never been before. Stand up and sound the trumpet. Tell them my word. And they say, Lord, Lord, I'm trying my best, God. I can't help if they turn a deaf ear. But God, let them hear what you have to say, God. Lord, let them hear what you have to say, Jesus. Because, Lord, if they turn a deaf ear, Lord, there's nothing I can do. But, Lord, I asked you, God, to open their heart, their mind, their soul, and their ears. That way they can receive what you have for them in the name of Jesus. I love God. I love Jesus. He's my world. He's my everything. He's my everything. There's nothing I would trade. There's nothing I would trade. Because he's my everything. I just wanted to say God bless you all. I hope that someone has gotten something out of this. I want to say always like I always say in all my videos. You'll always hear me say. God loves you. I love you. And keep God number one in your life. And you're going to be all right. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. I hope I've said something to help you. Uh, Y'all have a good rest of the day. God bless. Bye-bye.